Joining us once again at Comic-Con Luminary, the man responsible for Spawn, Venom, countless great comics, a crapload of music videos, and some of the best toys of the last 30 years, the legendary Todd McFarlane. How are you doing? Good to see you, Todd. Hey, Good to see you. Thanks, Happy for, thanks for having me. I uh, appreciate you guys doing all you do here for our industry every year. Oh, I think man. you do a lot more, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. You, you typically show up with a whole, just a big Santa Claus bag full of cool toys and stuff to announce. Uh, yeah. This year, one of the big things you showed off is the Batman Ultimate Movie Collection, which is all, it's all six movie bat, Batsmen, bat, Batmans, Batman, yeah. in one box. In one, in one box. I mean, there, there are some hardcore that go, Todd, you should have had the seventh. Adam West was in a movie, right, oh, right. In, the, in, the, right. in the late 60s. So they're not wrong. But if we consider from the Tim Burton up, the 88 up right. uh, era, which is what most of us know, then, yeah, all six actors are included into now, this now there's there's some there's some batman films in there that some people aren't maybe quite as wild about but you are not afraid to do the, the, uh, the impossible and really just bring those those schumacher movies to life uh can we take a look at these yeah Show yeah sure look, look at here's here's the thing about collecting i never expect anybody to be a, a completist right so you don't have to like everything that we do but even if you don't like all the movies What's cool is that you're gonna, you don't have too many chances to get literally the whole history of Batman cinema in one box, right? You, I mean, it took us years to get to some of these figures when we were doing it, and you gotta shop at different places, and now you can get them all in one spot. You don't have to like all the movies, you just have to like Batman. Yep. Right, we're not, right. we're not, we're not sitting here. So we. Well, so like, it just, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be right if we didn't have like Kilmer and Clooney in there. Yes. And like, it's we got a whole bunch of really cool stuff from uh, the Flash movie with you know Michael Keaton making Correct. this big, you know, victory lap. Uh, there's been you know plenty of Bale, uh, plenty of Pattinson. But like, it's kind of cool to see just all of these getting kind of equal treatment in here. Uh, and it's yes. I, Look, yeah. here, here, so here's the thing. Our, my job, I'm in the cool business, right? Mm -hmm. We come up with ideas and we go, man, what would be cool? And all of a sudden you go, man, if you have, if we could get them to approve that we can put them all together, so that again, nobody's saying that everybody's equal to me in this box. Um, and you put them on, and on one, and you get a big presentation. That's super cool. I'm not here debating the quality of any one movie. That's, sure, yeah. that's not what this is. This is about, I've got all the Batmans in Warner Brothers library sitting in one box. Awesome. Go have a debate someplace else yeah, about, about the merits of who your favorite is. This is like having all the, all the captains on right. Star Trek, right? That'd be super awesome too. As a matter of fact, I just came up with an idea. So, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, this is this is a celebration of the character and it. his costumes, yeah, right? And cinema, yeah. Right, you know, again, because we have. I mean, I'm in comic books, right? And I have to acknowledge that the vast majority of people now are learning about our characters through cinema or TV, right? right? And so again, oh my God, I know Walking Dead. And it's like, oh, there's a comic book. Oh my gosh, I like the Blue Beetle. Oh, there's a comic book, yeah. right? I'm hoping someday there's gonna be the one where it's like, oh my gosh, there's a Spawn movie. Oh, it's a comic book. Because that's what people consume. When I go to young kids, I don't expect young kids to know me through, like, it's funny, their parents go, hey, there's a guy who created Spawn. <laughs> I go, dad, wrong. Hey, I help create Venom, and their eyes light up ah, because that's what matters to them. Mm -hmm. And you have to do the same with adults that don't collect uh, comic mm -hmm. books too. So now, I want to ask a couple things about yeah. this. Uh, the sort of most, I guess, recognizable side of the, the actors here are the chins. They all have, you know, very different different yeah. Batman chins. Yeah. Which is what is the hardest Batman actor chin to get right in plastic form? Wow! In all honesty. All of them, and here's why I say that, and I'm not, I'm not trying to do it, is because you take a head, here's a head, right, right and here. I now have to take this head, mm -hmm. and then I have to shrink it to literally less than an inch. And so if you're off a nano on a curve, it doesn't look like that person. Or even if you get it right, dead right, and we've done it before, and this is the suffering of doing toys because it's inexact science. If you're off a little bit, it doesn't look like them. Or if it's perfect and then they paint it wrong, mm -hmm. then you're going, what, it doesn't look like them. So just a little bit of a shift on a half an inch is the equivalent of an inch on a full size head. Right. And it distorts, right? So when people are making changes, when I'm dealing with licenses and they give me notes, one of the things that I sometimes do when I get aggravated at their notes is like, can you make their eye just slightly droop? I'm like, <laughs> 
I'll, I'll make the change, but then I'm gonna show you the before and after at a half an inch, because that's, so that's what is actually gonna be produced. Mm -hmm. You tell me which one was the before and after. I'm not <laughs> even gonna mark it. You tell me, you can't, there, it's so minor, you can't even see the difference. Was now, there, I was gonna say real quick, was there any uh, particular things about their, the, the actual uh, costumes that you were trying to translate to toys and you're like, that's not necessarily working, or stuff that you were like, that's actually way more toyetic than I imagined? Yeah, well, uh, I would say that what we had to do was way more than getting the chin, because again, it's only a little bit here, and I think people be a little bit forgiven. We had to get the costumes yeah. right, because you could argue that for the hardcore, for most of us, the costume is what tells you what movie it, it is, mm -hmm. right? So when you see it, even from the neck down, you go, oh, I know what movie that is. I know what movie that is. That's Batman and Robin, <laughs> I know what that is. No, that's true. So we, we had to just get it, it's not that it was hard, we had to get it exact so that they want, oh yeah, those are two different movies. It's not, because again, and I don't know if you can see this on, on your camera here. Right. They, from that distance, they all look sort of kind of black with black capes and whatever else. Okay, fine, I get it. But once you get it up close and you have it in your hands, you're going to be able to see the distinguishing features. I, I don't know if, these, if this even reads on camera. It's, I, was, I was seeing pictures of these online and they, they look great. But again, it's a lot of black plastic. And seeing them in person, you've really nailed like the different kind of it, yes. the vibe of the different costumes. Yes. Like the Schumacher ones have like, like the, uh, the Forever one has like a little bit of a sheen. Yeah. The, the Robin one has like much more of a sheen. Yeah. And that's that totally... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Some some are sort of a dark charcoal, and some are a, a little bit flat. We try to basically emulate that. I mean, again, you're limited what you can do in a toy process, but yes, because those were details that mattered to distinguish each yeah. one of them during each one of those movies. Right. Now, this is just one of the cool collectibles you're showing off this year. You also no. just announced that you're doing a Kickstarter for an all new collector grade medieval spawn. Can you right. tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so the, I mean, I'd never done a, a Kickstarter crowdfunding for anything, for, forget toys. Um, and then the pandemic came and then we did our first one. I thought it was a good opportunity. Everybody was going into fetal position in the planet and was going, let's not do anything. And I was like, no, that's the perfect time to do something. Um, if, if you're not a giant, when they're sleeping, you always do something, right? Uh, and, and we set a record, right? So we came out with a spawn that was basically a, a, a remastered version of the very sort of first spawn I did when we began the toy company. But in that first series, there were six and one of them is the medieval spawn. So we just announced yesterday, yes, the medieval spawn. From my take, and I've been doing this for a long time, it's the most detailed figure we've made, right? I mean, it's so I think, I think it's gonna hopefully transcend beyond like sort of toy and comic book people to f people who like fantasy, right? I mean, this thing is really, this thing is, yeah, no, this, I wish I had it. I, I, I put it in there, I, I, I'll send you some photos at some point. But it front and back is just loaded with detail and it's gonna come with multiple weapons, but even cooler, multiple helmets, and one of the helmets is actually gonna pivot, okay. right? So you can you open have a, that. a date when that's kicking off? Uh, no, we're we'll probably within the next month we'll announce okay. the program. Yeah. So. Thank you so Thank you, much. Todd. It is always a pleasure getting to chat. Uh, we are so happy we get to talk to you every year. It's the best. Uh, so if you want to go support Todd McFarlane, uh, head to your local comic shop, head to your local toy store, go buy some cool toys, and go check out that Kickstarter when it goes up for Medieval Spawn. Yeah. There's tons more Comic-Con ahead right here on IGN, so don't go anywhere. See you around. <laughs>